Hey everybody, I'm Mary and this is my Simple Cottage Life. y'all see that pickup? Boy, he is barely moving down the road. Smart fella. The problem is, there's so much snow on the road that you can't tell where the road stops and the ditch begins. So there are people that are running off in the ditch around here. And we have a group here called the Jeep Guys. And they will go around and give people rides, pull you out of ditches for free of charge. And I think that's wonderful that people are pulling together. Y'all see all the birds out there on that, that empty, that space that has no snow? i tell you why it has no snow. Because <laughs> this side of my house had a busted pipe. I noticed it this morning. You see how much water has run out and it's melted that snow. So out there, right about in here somewhere, is the water cut off valve to the, to the uh, meter. So I got my boots on, and my hat, and my gloves, and I got a hoe, and I went out there and tried to find that cut off valve. I see where I've been digging, right? there see that and that's where it is but I couldn't find it I had to pull all that snow out of the way first just to get down to the dirt but during the mowing during the summer all that was covered up in layers of dirt and I can't find it to save my life and I worked and worked and of course I'm breathing through my mouth and I'm just wheezing and it sounded pretty terrible. And all of a sudden it hit me that I have a cutoff valve on this house. So I went around the side of the house and I know exactly where that cutoff valve is. And I kind of dug down in there a little bit. And there was a coffee can that covers up the, the valve. And there was dirt piled all around that valve. And I dug that out. And here I am, y'all, and I'm down on my knees in the snow. So I got an old piece of tin and put it down so I could lean down on something, have something to, you know, stay out of the snow. And I got the dirt out from around that valve, and I had some channel locks. And I grabbed hold of that valve and tried to turn it, and the one end of it snapped off because it's plastic. That <laughs> figures. So then I came in and I got a thing of pliers and went out and easy, easy tried to turn the other end that wasn't snapped off. And finally, I got the water turned off. Success, yay me! And I did it all by myself. I'm so proud. Of course, now I don't have any water, and I have a busted pipe over here that's got to be fixed soon enough, but that's okay. At least I don't have water running down on the highway out there. And all those birds are loving this area. I don't know what they're finding out there, but they're everywhere. Maybe they're, I don't know, it's something that they're, maybe they're bugs down in there, whatever they're doing seeds of some kind, but they're looking for food. Later on, I will get out here and get the, see, I've, I've got my steps kind of cleaned up. I put salt. I don't have any rock salt, but I have table salt. That works for me. Okay, little birdies. Good luck out there. I'll get you some seed later. 
Okay, for now, I have no water, but thank goodness I have a little bit, and I'm going to be okay. Uh, by the grace of God, we still have power, so I still have some heat. I'm doing okay. Y'all be careful. See you soon. Bye-bye.